Let's come before the Lord. Got there. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make, make haste, haste to help us. If you think my voice has got deeper, that's Wendy, don't worry. <laughs> Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You are clothed with majesty and honour, wrapped in light as in a garment. The sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will make music to my God while I have my being. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 26 from the New King James Version Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have also trusted in the Lord, I shall not slip. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my mind and my heart. For your loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. I have not sat with idolatrous mortals, nor will I go in with hypocrites. I have hated the assembly of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, so I will go about your altar, O Lord, that I may proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all your wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Do not gather my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands is a sinister scheme, and by whose right hand, and whose right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be merciful to me. My foot stands in an even place. In the congregations, I will bless the Lord. Psalm 28 To you I will cry, O Lord, my rock. Do not be silent to me, lest, if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you when I lift up my hands toward your holy sanctuary. Do not take me away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, who speak peace to their neighbours, but evil is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavours. Give them according to the work of their hands. Render to them what they deserve. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord nor the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices and with my song I will praise him. The Lord is their strength and he is the saving refuge of his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them also and bear them up forever. Psalm 29 
Give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian are like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forests bare. And in his temple, everyone says, Glory. The Lord sat enthroned at the flood, and the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to, to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Job chapter 13 Behold, my eye has seen all this, my ear has heard and understood it. What you know I also know, I am not inferior to you. But I would speak to the Almighty, and I desire to reason with God. But you forgers of lies, you are all worthless physicians. Oh, that you be silent, it will be your wisdom. Now hear my reasoning, and heed the pleading of my lips. Will you speak wickedly for God, and talk deceitfully for him? Will you show partiality for him? Will you contend for God? Would it be well when he searches you out? Or can you mock him as one mocks a man? He will surely rebuke you if you secretly show partiality. Will not his excellence make you afraid and the dread of him fall upon you? Your platitudes are proverbs of ashes. Your defences are defences of clay. Hold your peace with me and let me speak. Then let, then let come on me what may. Why do I take my flesh in my teeth and put my life in my hands? Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Even so, I will defend my own ways before him. He shall also be my salvation, for a hypocrite could not come before him. Listen carefully to my speech and to my declaration with your ears. See now, I have prepared my case. I know that I shall be vindicated. Who is he who will contend with me? If now I hold my tongue, I perish. Only two things do not do to me then I will not hide myself from you. Withdraw your hand far from me, and let not the dread of you make me afraid. Then call, and I will answer, or let me speak, then you respond to me. How many are my iniquities and sins? Make me know my transgression and my sin. Why do you hide your face and regard me as your enemy? Will you frighten the leaf driven to and fro? Or will you pursue dry stubble? Will you write bitter things against me and make me inherit the iniquities of my youth? You put my feet in the stocks and watch closely all my paths. You set a limit for the soles of my feet. Man decays like a rotten thing, like a garment that is moth-eaten. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
the glorious grace of God is freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love, you destined us for adoption as your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will. To the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In you we have redemption through the blood of Christ, the forgiveness of our sins, according to the riches of your grace, which you have lavished upon us. You have made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of your will, according to your purpose which you set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time. To unite all things in Christ, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The glorious grace of God is freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. Romans 7, verses 1 to 6. Or do you not know, brethren, for I speak to those who know the law, that the law has dominion over a man for as long as he lives? For the woman who has a husband is bound by the law to her husband as long as he lives. But if the husband dies, she is released from the law of her husband. So then, if while her husband lives she marries another man, she will be called an adulteress. But if her husband dies, she is free from that law, so that she is no longer an adulteress, though she has married another man. Therefore, my brethren, you also have become dead to the law through the body of Christ, that you may be married to another, to him who was raised from the dead, that we should bear fruit to God. For when we were in the flesh, the sinful passions which were aroused by the law were at work in our members to bear fruit to death. But now we have been delivered from the law, having died to what we were held by, so that we should serve in the newness of the spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust, Trust in, in the, the Lord, Lord with, with all, all your heart, and, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust, Trust in, in the, the Lord, Lord with all, all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust, Trust in, in the Lord, Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. My spirit rejoices in you, O God. My soul proclaims your greatness. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and to the Son and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, 
is now, and shall be forever. Amen. My spirit rejoices in you, O God. My soul proclaims your greatness. So we reflect on the day so far. We search our hearts and we bring to the Lord the things on them. We pray for peace in ourselves, those around us and the world. We pray for individuals and the needs that they have. So the sun still shines and the light still is with us. Let us come before the Lord and bring him our prayers. Father, I thank you for the lesson I learnt today. How easy it is for us to become complacent and assured that all is well wherever we are. And then to have someone stop you in the street and say, Have you seen so and so? With the answer being no, I took myself to knock at a door and found a lovely old woman lonely, isolated, sad. Father, I thank you for the lesson you've taught me today. May we, may we the church, may we learn that lesson to watch for the neighbours around us, to check their safety and security and to take upon ourselves the task of knocking, even though we may look foolish. Better to be a fool and go in faith and bring blessing than to live in the mistaken belief that all is well. Father, we pray tonight for all those who are isolated, who are left, rarely seen, sad, confused, contained. You've called us, Father, to give sight to the blind to set captives free, to pronounce the year of your favour. Father, may we, in our presence with those who we haven't noticed, become a moment of jubilee for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our, our prayer. prayer. Father, as we reflect on the readings, I'm always struck by those wonderful words of Job. Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. Father, may we have that sense of who you are, that when we are struggling, when we are suffering, when we are confused, that we would not turn against you, but that we would praise you. Mm. Not because of our suffering, but because of who you are. And our praise of you is not dependent upon our circumstances, but on the reality that you are the true God, the creator of everything, the Lord of life, the giver of hope, 
and of peace. And that through the death and resurrection of your Son, we are freed from the old way of sin and death. And we now live in the reality of your grace. And that grace does not promise that we will not suffer, it does not promise that we won't be sad, but it promises that we will not suffer because of what we have done. We will not be punished for our wrongdoing because that punishment was put on Jesus. But our suffering is just that which is common to all people mm. because the world in which we live is not as you made it, not as you planned it. So Lord we ask for your peace in the hearts of those who are suffering tonight, and those who are sad, those who are confused, those who are contained within their homes or within their minds, those who are contained in hospital beds or care homes. Lord, may your peace flood them and hold them and encourage them to speak out your praise and your worship whatever their circumstances. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our oh. prayer. Father, I, I reach out, Lord, tonight to all those people who are waiting for surgery. Lord, we pray for those who are finding their lives changed by COVID, not by an infection, but by inaction. Mm. By the inability to bring people in for treatment for the fear that they may contract the virus. Yes. And yet, Lord, they may remain safe from the virus, but their lives diminish, decline. And Father, for the cases I've heard of today where people have been isolated, taken to hospital for a simple procedure and then isolated because of the virus, only to be returned to their homes to find the onset of dementia and other illnesses take their toll and they leave not from a virus but from the effects that the virus has brought in the most intangible ways. Father we pray for all those tonight who care for loved ones, who fear for loved ones. Mm -hmm. For our friends, our family members who have locked themselves in or been locked in. And Father, we pray that shielding with isolation will not be the thin edge of a very sad wedge. So we pray for our old, our infirm, our mentally ill, our friends and family with cancers, for those with simple hip, knee and other replacements who wait to have their lives transformed and remain within because of it. We pray for the medical teams, 
who are frustrated that they can't do what they are paid to do. They can't do what they are called to do. Father, we can open Primark. We can open the zoo. But our schools and our hospitals with routine treatment remain closed pretty much. Lord, we look for balance, we look for peace, we look for unity and concord in this nation and across the world. The decisions may be handed down to the right, and the people may behave rightly also. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the family of the American pilot who was killed today when his F-15 crashed off of Yorkshire and for all of the service personnel who would have known him and flown with him and lived with him. Lord, when we know that when there is a military death it is felt very deeply by those who serve alongside them, even if it's not in combat. So Lord, we just pray for the 498th and for all who will be affected by this death. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we lift to you those individuals who remain on our hearts and minds, the ones for whom we carry a burden of prayer and of concern. And we bring them to you now, where we are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers. And because through the weakness of our mortal nature we can do no good thing without you, grant us the help of your grace, that in the keeping of your commandments we may please you both in will and deed. To Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we say together, 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you all for joining with us. Have a great evening. I know they think the world is back to normal, but we know it's not. And if we can be of any help, please don't hesitate to give us a shout. Bless you.